Okay, when multiplying with base 10 exponents, it ends up being like a two-step process. Here's a perfect example. Let's say you have a problem that looks like this. I'm going to make my writing a little bit smaller. If I have the number like 7 times 10 to the third power. Now, you, have to, you know that 7 is just a 7, but you have to figure out what 10 to the third power is. Now, the way you could do this is you break it down like 10 times 10 times 10. And you figure out 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 with 1, 2, 3 zeros. So now you're not doing 7 times 10 to the third. You're really doing 7 times 1,000. Whenever you have a problem like that, you just multiply the non-zero numbers. 7 times 1 is 7 with 1, 2, 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. So you get the answer of 7,000. I'll do another problem. Zoom it in farther. Make it a little bit smaller. Let's say I had a, a bigger problem, uh, 46, ooh, 0.3. Let's throw a decimal in there times 10 to the second power. Now you have to figure out what 10 to the second power is. You could probably figure that one out in your head because it's 10 times 10 if you know your exponent. So 10 times 10 is 100. So you're really having 46.3 times 100. Now, if you watch back to one of my other base 10 understanding videos, you know that that 100 is telling you to jump your decimal over two places. So I'm going to rewrite the number, 46.3, and I'm going to jump the decimal over two places, one, two, and that opening right there, I'm going to put a zero. So whenever you're multiplying U.S. base 10 exponents, you have to change this number into a number that you actually know how to work with. Now, luckily, it's either going to be a number of like usually 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000, whatever the case may be. But they're going to be pretty easy numbers to work with, but you have to figure out how much it is, how many zeros you need. We'll do two more example problems. If you want to try this out, I'm going to write them down. Question one and question two. Let's say we had um, 17 times 10 to the fourth. Let's say we had uh, 0 0.092 times 10 to the third. If you want to try to pause this video to do that and try to work it out, that's completely fine. Uh, if you don't want to, you can just kind of listen along. First thing I do is break down 10 to the 4th, so that's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and I'm multiplying 17 times 10,000, which would get me the answer of 17 and 1, which is 17, with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, Four zeros. So that's my final answer. In this problem, I have to figure out what 10 to the third power is. So I got to figure out, well, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1 times 1 times 1, which is, well, 1 with 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3. And I have the number 0 0.092 times 10,000. So those three zeros are going to tell me I need to jump my decimal over three times to the right. Three zeros means you're jumping to the right three times. So let's jump my decimal over. One, two, three. So that means my answer, I'll do it in blue. My answer is not 0 0.092. My answer is now 92. You don't have to put that zero there unless you want to. It's kind of up to you. But that is my final answer. Hope this helped, guys. Come back for other videos.